Tonight, teams in the Netherlands and Japan are trying to figure out how to refloat a giant container ship stuck in the Suez Canal. The Ever Given ran aground on Tuesday in Egypt and has been creating a massive backlog in shipments ever since. News 8's Abby Alford spoke to a local professor about what's happening right now in the Suez Canal and how that could have a ripple effect here in San Diego. With the Suez Canal blocked, it's delaying dozens of other ships. A University of San Diego professor says that this could jack up prices for food, fuel, and other types of goods, but we may not see it here in America for another couple weeks. The Panama flagship Ever Given, owned by Evergreen Marine, ran aground on Tuesday in the Suez Canal. It's as long as the Empire State Building is tall and is launched sideways in the Egyptian Canal, causing a logjam for tanker ships. With such a globally interdependent supply chain that it could well become a massive issue. I mean, I Professor of Supply Chain Management at the University uh, of San Diego, Dr. Simon Kroom, gives us insight into the holdup. About 10 percent of all global trade travels through the 120-mile Suez Canal, carrying $3 billion in cargo, including food, medical supplies, fuel, textiles, and major appliances. Prices of those products could all go up if delayed. Automobiles could be affected. Uh, food products can can definitely be affected. The canal cuts transit time between Asia and Europe by two to three weeks, which cut costs. If there is a delay, it could take a few weeks for prices to soar in the U.S. So does that mean that we might not see any effect for two weeks, but then all of a sudden, because a lot of supply chains are lean, that's when we're going to get hit. The workforce could also be impacted. Dr. Kroom calls it the reverse bullwhip. But what about the people who are working at the dealers? What about the, the family of the people who work at the dealers? What about the people who offload the components? Freeing the ship could take weeks. It's still unknown how it happened. They have to be very careful on this because they don't want to cause a situation that's worse than exists right now. Experts say the holdup exposes how fragile our global supply is when the pandemic is already weak in trade. So you've got clamoring for demand and we're already seeing how contentious that gets with COVID vaccination. Uh, supply. This is the second major crash recently for the Ever Given, which is one of the largest container ships.